Have you ever wondered why are all of my patients' arms and legs so swollen in the hospital? I get patients and family members asking me all the time in the ICU, why is my loved one so swollen when they're not normally swollen outside the hospital? Let's talk about it. There are quite a few reasons why patients can be so swollen in the hospital. And these are a couple of them right here, but I'm also gonna talk about a couple other things. Patients tend to be more immobile in the hospital because they're not feeling well, they can't get up for whatever reason, they aren't feeling like, hey, I wanna get up and start walking. You know, mobility is super important for patients for a lot of reasons, but one of those is to help reduce swelling. When patients are laying in bed, they're not moving as much, your muscles aren't contracting to help kind of move that fluid throughout your body and keep it in your vascular system. Another big reason for swelling is low serum albumin levels. A lot of patients come into the hospital already sick from something and they probably haven't been taking in good nutrition and while they're in the hospital they're not feeling as well, they don't want to intake as much and so this can cause lower albumin levels. Albumin is that protein that helps bind to the water and keep it in your vascular system so when your albumin's low that fluid tends to leak out into your you know you start to third space it. It becomes very swollen in your arms, in your legs, abdomen, it can even go into your lungs. This is why if you have a dietitian at your hospital, most of the time they're ordering insures or other types of protein supplements for your patients to help assist with these albumin levels for our patients. Another big thing is we give patients a lot of fluid in the hospital, whether they need that extra fluid because they're dehydrated, they're septic, they are getting multiple IV antibiotics or electrolytes or different types of infusions. Patients get more fluids in the hospital than they tend to do when they're outside the hospital because they need them, but also when they get a lot of them, that fluid can start to third space and cause a lot of swelling. We know that kidney disease and heart failure can cause swelling in patients both outside the hospital as well as inside the hospital. But you have to think when patients are sick and they already have underlying health problems like kidney disease or heart problems, whenever your body is sick and stressed, those issues tend to get worse. And that is why swelling tends to get worse in these patients, even you know when they're in the hospital. So what can we do about swelling? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Okay, there are things that we can do for the swelling. However, I feel like the best remedy is getting patients better and getting them up and moving. We can elevate the extremities. We can wrap them in ACE wrap. Some providers may order diuretics on patients that are volume overloaded. However, all of these things really don't get rid of the underlying reason of the swelling until the patient is actually better and healthier and they can get up and moving and get out of there. Okay, let me know if you have any more questions.